Hello everybody, I'm Takao Itoi from Tokyo Medical University Hospital. Parallel cholangioscopy has been developed over past three decades for the diagnosis of bile duct regions. However, the image resolution of previous parallel cholangioscopy is limited using fiber optic systems. To overcome this problem, a video cholangioscope which provides better quality digital images was recently developed. However, there are few reports on the benefit of video cholangioscope. In the present study, we evaluate the diagnostic ability of peroneal cholangioscopy for the diagnosis of bile duct regions. In this study, 144 patients including benign and malignant Bilary disorders were recruited between January 2005 and December 2008 at five high volume centers in Japan. Endoscopic spinterotomy was or had been performed previously prior to peroral video cholangioscopy as needed to facilitate the scope passage. Here you can see the specification of the two video cholangioscopes provided by Olympus Medical Systems, Tokyo, in Japan. CHF-B260 and CHF-BP260 weights outer diameter of 3.4 and 1.2 mm and working channel diameters of 2.8 and 0.8 mm respectively. They were advanced through the 4.2 mm working channel of the therapeutic duodenoscopes into the bile duct with or without going over a 0.035 inch guide wire. The bile duct was irrigated through the working channel with sterile saline solution during the procedure. Then we evaluate the cholangioscopic finding as follows according to the previous studies. Malignant findings are irregular thick tortuous vessels, easy wheezing of blood, irregular papillary granular surface, and nodular elevated surface like a submucosal tumor. Benign findings are fine network of same vessels and flat surface with or without shallow pseudo diverticular and lower homogeneous papillary granular surface with primary mass suggesting hyperpressure, bumpy surface with or without pseudodiverticular suggesting inflammation, and white surface with converting of holes suggesting a scar. After observation of parallel video cholangioscopes, biopsies from the bilateral region were attempted using a three French biopsy herself as needed. When tissue aggression was needed but cholangioscopy assisted biopsies were insufficient, fluoroscopy guided transpapillary biopsy using a conventional standard biopsy herself was performed. Totally ERCP tissue sampling plus Peroral video cholangioscopy correctly identified 95 of 96 malignant regions and 23 of 34 benign regions. As a result, diagnostic accuracy was 98.3%, sensitivity was 99%, specificity was 95.8%, Positive predict value was 99% and negative predict value was 95.8%. In conclusion, parallel video cholangioscopy provided diagnostic accuracy by excellent resolution combined with biopsy. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first large series of center studies on the diagnostic utility of peroral video cholangioscope.